We need to beware. We're going to see leaders and, and evangelists and preachers of, of congregations uh, used in Romans 13 to betray the flock, to betray the body of Christ. They're going to be using uh, Romans 13. They're going to be telling the people to take the vaccines. They're going to be telling the people to take the mark, that they're going to be okay, that that's not the mark because they're going to be raptured. They're going to be deceiving the people to hell. They're going to be deceiving the flocks and betraying and, and turning their flocks and their congregations into the authorities. They're going to be turning in uh, the congregations to the government. They're going to be betraying people into the FEMA camps and concentration camps. They're going to be betraying uh, because they're going to be sold out. Okay, they're going to be sold out to the authorities, sold out to the government. They will be like spies. And so we need to be wise, wise in these last days. The Lord told us to be alert and vigilant and to, to discern the spirits, to test the fruit Great, great hardships are coming. And as I said before, the true church of the Lord, the true remnant, is going to be very, very wise in these last days. As the Lord told us, he who endures until the end shall be saved. The Lord said, will I find faith when I come back? Will I find faith those that, that carry the truth in their, in their lips. Those that carry the word forth in their mouth. Those that are going to speak and witness for the Lord Jesus Christ. Those that believe. And those that carry the testimony of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. He who endures until the end shall be saved. In Matthew twenty four ten, it tells us, and then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise, and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, lawlessness, the lawlessness we're seeing, folks, the lawlessness that we're seeing unfolding in the world and in this nation like never before, the love of many shall wax cold, and the love of many shall, is waxing cold behind all this, these agendas and, and this indoctrination and the brainwashing and, and the mask of the beast that, that uh, they're following these uh, doctrines of devils. But he that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved. And the gospel of the kingdom and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. And that's what our calling is to be preaching the gospel to all the four corners, to everyone one that we can uh, uh, preach to and witness to of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord warned us in St. Matthew uh, 10. Thank you, Heavenly Father. The persecution will come. The Lord says, Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Matthew 10, 16. And be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. But beware of man, for they will deliver you up to the councils. They will deliver you up to, to the government. They will deliver you up to jail. They will deliver you up to, to the the. Uh, uh, FEMA camps, they're going to deliver you up and they will scourge you in their synagogues and you shall be brought before governors and, the, and kings for my sake, for the sake of the Lord Jesus Christ, for a testimony against them. It'll be a testimony against them and the Gentiles. But when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what you shall speak. For it shall be given you in the same hour what you shall speak. The Holy Spirit will be speaking through our mouths at that hour of, of, of persecution. At that hour when they are delivering uh, the remnant. And for it is not you that speak, but the spirit of your father which speaks in you. And the brother shall deliver up the brother to death and this is why we got to be speaking for the lord right now this is why we got to be uh, uh yielding ourselves to the holy spirit and allowing him to speak at this hour this very hour 
at this very late hour because when the times get to to full pressure when they're they're coming against you when they're coming against your family when they're using uh the vaccine to not let you buy or sell or all the other things that they're going to be using when they're using all these things and technology and pressure to not let you do and have your freedoms if we're not prepared and settled in our hearts from now and doing now what the Lord called us to do at that hour of pressure, people are going to buckle up. They're going to uh, fall away as the great apostasy that the Lord warned us about in Second Thessalonians 2. So we got to take heed and examine ourselves and make sure that we're in the faith as the Lord warned us. Matthew 10, 20, for it is not you that speak, but the spirit of your father which speaks in you. And the brother shall deliver up brother to death, and the father the child. And the children shall rise up against their parents and cause them to be put to death. Their own families are going to be betraying us, folks. They're going to be coming against each other for a measly bowl of soup when they're coming under the pressure, when they're coming against the persecution. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. We will be hated for the name of Jesus Christ, for being lo loyal to the Lord, for for uh, uh, not uh, um, for not worshiping the beast, for not worshiping the image of the beast, for not taking the vaccine, for not doing what the Lord warned us and forbid us to do. And so, and and being faithful to the Lord until until the death. And you shall be hated for all, all men for my name's sake. But he that endures to the end shall be saved. He that endures to the end shall be saved. But when they persecute you in this city, flee ye into another. For verily I say unto you, you shall not have gone over to the cities of Israel till the Son of Man be come. This, the disciple is not above his master, nor the servant above his Lord. It is enough for the disciple that he be as his master and the servant as his lord if they call the master of the house lord jesus christ if they call him beelzebub how much more shall they call them of his household okay this is the false accusers that are coming and so um the lord is warning us that these things are coming the lord warned us that they're going to be fulfilled and for us to not be in fear the one that we have to fear is the living God. The same Matthew uh, 10, 28. It says, um, And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. We are to fear the living God. He's the only one that we have to fear is the living God. He's the only one that has the power to uh, destroy both soul and body in hell. And the Antichrist system will be using fear to drive the people and move the people to do and comply with their demonic satanic agenda, folks. And so we have to be ready. We've got to be prepared. We've got to settle it in our hearts from now. And, and get right with God. Get right with God today. Don't wait. No one's promised tomorrow. We've got to get right with the Lord today and be uh, about our Father's business. We have to be about our Father's business, folks. I love you. I bless you until soon again. The Lord willing, be blessed. Uh, subscribe since the people are, are getting unsubscribed uh, unknowingly. And uh, please, I ask you and also subscribe to my other platforms. So in Jesus' name, I bless you. And I praise the living God Almighty, the Lord Jesus Christ, Yehoshua HaMashiach. Shalom to you.